Okay, we're going to go over some of the chemical characteristics of amino acids. And um, I just want you to understand that when we're talking about chemical characteristics in the context of this task, we're actually referring to um, chemical characteristics that are associated with safety. And the reason is because we want to make sure that you know um, how you can find out about an unknown chemical. So if you were to come across an unknown chemical, you would know how to determine its toxicity, its flammability, and anything else you might want to know. Um, you know, does it cause cancer? Will it give your baby two heads if you happen to be pregnant? Um, this is all, you know, really important information to know. In addition, if you happen to find a spill of something, um, how do you clean it up? Is it soluble in water? Can I just wipe it up with water? Or do I need to do something more special? Uh, again, these are things you would want to know about any unknown chemical, and so we're just using amino acids as a way to help you learn how to find that information. So how do you find that information? The answer is the MSDS. Yay, the MSDS! This is the Material Safety and Data Sheet, and I do not expect you to be able to read this. This is just a picture for you to look at while I talk about the MSDS. And um, these are documents that are produced for any chemical that is commercially produced, and um, they're very easy to find. You can just Google them on the web. You just write MSDS and the name of the chemical, or in your case, the name of your amino acid, and you'll be able to find a bunch of them. And um, you know, there, there's lots of different sort of styles of MSDSs, but they have the same information. So just choose one that you find easy to use. They give a quick overview of important chemical safety information and also um, different uh, chemical characteristics of of uh, the compound that you're looking at. And these are pretty important to have around, um, especially if you are working with, um, you know, a lot of chemicals or any chemicals that might be dangerous, okay? So again, we want you to be able to find these and use these appropriately, okay? So I just want to go on a little field trip here and show you an MSDS. So I just found this MSDS by going to Google and typing in um, MSDS proline and I chose proline because it's a non-essential amino acid so this is not something you can use you need to find your own for an essential amino acid. But um, the layout is going to be similar. Okay so you just start out with some basic information you know the the name of it and for this company what its catalog number is and things like that. But when you scroll down you'll learn a, a bit more information. So here we've got some hazard identification and you can see here they've got carcinogenic effects not available. Now for any chemical that's been around for very many years at all, um, if it says not available, basically it means it, it doesn't really have them, or at least we don't know of any that it has. So this is non-carcinogenic, it's non-mutagenic, it's non-teratogenic, and uh, teratogens are those things that can cause birth defects, just for those who may not know that, and it does not seem to have any developmental toxicity. Okay. So we've learned a little bit there, and we can continue to go down and learn some more things. Here's some first aid measures if you were to, you know, <laughs> find yourself covered in proline, I guess. And, um, and then also there's this fire and explosion data down here. So flammability. It says it may be combustible at high temperatures, uh, like many things, right? But it doesn't have a flash point, and um, it's not particularly flammable. All right. All right. Um, here's some information about cleaning up a spill, if it's a small spill or a large spill. Um, that's good information to know, but not really a chemical characteristic, just so you know. And um, so if we scroll down here, we've got physical and chemical properties. A lot of these are physical properties, so they won't really be appropriate for a chemical characteristic, but this one down here, solubility, this is a chemical characteristic. How easily is it soluble in water? And this one is very easily soluble in water, so I can dissolve proline in water no problem. If I have a big proline spill, I can use water to clean it up. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. It's, um, it's, it's stable, right? We don't have any stability issues. It's non-corrosive. And some toxicological information. Um, again, it doesn't seem to have much um, tox toxicity in animals. And up here, when it says toxicity in animals in LD50, LD50 means lethal dose, and uh, LC50, this is lethal concentration, if you were to breathe it in, how lethal is it? And again, it says not available and not available, so it's, it's relatively non-toxic. Okay, and there's some other information down here as well, but that, that basically covers it. So you can scroll through whatever MSDS you find and find some relevant chemical characteristics. Okay. So, with your task, what you need to do is choose two chemical characteristics from an MSDS for the essential amino acid that you choose. And these, again, can be things like toxicity, flammability, solubility in water. Is it hydrophobic? Is it hydrophilic? Um, if it happens to have a charged side chain, is it acidic or is it basic? Okay, so these are just some ideas for you, and hopefully that has been helpful.